today we're out here on Red Feather Falls and we're doing a subscriber hunt. Now the way I'm picking the subscriber winners is I'm going through the list and when I find a winner I immediately contact you on the hunter uh, website first and if I get in touch with you then I'll send up a message and we'll set up a hunt. Otherwise a lot of times I've been trying to find winners and by the time I get in contact with them um, it's just it's too late or they don't play the hunter anymore so I find this is kind of the best way to do it I'm not going to be announcing it on a video anymore of who the winner is because if they're not even able to hunt then it doesn't really count as a win anyways so we're gonna start this hunt out with rebel 297 and we're out here on red feather falls we're gonna be heading for some whitetail and probably elk and maybe moose I think basically what we're going to do is we're going to sort of head straight south along this pond here and call here for a little while because a lot of times there's some bull here uh, early in the morning and also some pretty good white tail bucks and after that we're probably going to work our way along this shoreline here and usually there's some pretty good uh, crossings right here and here for some elk and some uh, white tail bucks and even some moose down there and we'll probably continue on follow along um, hop into this tower here and maybe continue on all the way down to this tower here and we'll see what we find along the way. Alright guys, so we just got a bull call here. Now the hunt started a little bit early. Hey, it looks like someone already shot a bull here. I uh, just went to get a coffee and there's a bull down. And I think there's a group of bulls actually up here. So we're going to hop up here real quick and take a look. Hopefully we can see them before they all get dead. Oh, right there. I see one. A young one. Another young one there. Okay, so there's two bulls. And apparently there's a cow somewhere. And there's Rebel set right there. He sounds way closer than what he actually is. Unless that's a different bull. No, it's definitely him. So, oh no, there is another bull there. There's one trotting right at us here. Maybe he'll take that one. Oh, nice shot. He actually shot the one in the back. Nice shot. This young one's actually stuck here. On a tree. Oh, it got unstuck. Oh, he took a shot at it too. See if I can't hit it. He's about 55, 60. Oh, just drilled him on the walk. Nice. All right, well, let's pick him up and see what he scores. Two hundred twenty-seven. Definitely not a bad bull. And here's the second bull. One hundred eighty-one. A little bit on the smaller side, but still not tiny. Compared to this one, that thing is pretty big. I believe this one's going to score probably like 45 or 50. Oh, we got a lung shot on him too. 48 meters away, he scores 70.5. Got a double lung at 48 meters. Alright guys, so Buck just called right here. Not too far in front of us. Pretty much on the path that we're actually heading, uh, planning on taking. Oh, there he is right there. Doesn't look like a... Yeah, he's a pretty young one. He looks like a 50 score or something like that. Let's see if he has a gun on him. He can just maybe take him out.
cool. Looks like there's a couple of small bulls and maybe a few small bucks. He hit them. Definitely hit him. He's down. Nice shot. Body. Ooh. Still hit him pretty good. Especially with the 7mm. You don't have to hit lungs in order to kill him. You can kill him with intestines, body, anything basically. Especially if they're less than 50 meters away. Score 61. Alright, so we're headed to this tower stand now. And I just picked up three different buck tracks. And this is not a super heavy one, but it's definitely not a bad one. And we also picked up a couple of uh, young bull tracks. So what we're going to do is try and sneak and get into this tower stand here. And we'll see if we can't call some stuff in. So our buck should be down there somewhere. There he is right there. He doesn't look very big. He looks like a spiker, actually, to be honest. But he is a buck. And, yeah, he is very, very small. He might as well be a doe, because he's pretty small. Nice shot. He's down. Alright, so we have a doe coming in right now. And he's going to take her out with the 10-point crossbow. And he totally he just hit the side of the window. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I've totally done that before. It sucks when that happens. I think it's going to happen again. What? Oh, no, it didn't. It worked. So that time he actually shot through the... So you can shoot through the side of the um, tower, but you can't shoot through the edge of the window. Interesting. Alright, well, it doesn't look like anything else is coming in right now, so we're going to hop down here and collect these animals. He scores 44. Alright, so we're going to continue on south down here along this kind of edge, and hopefully we find some good bulls. Alright guys, so we just spotted a buck. I'm not sure of how big he is, but I just saw him. He's right over there. Okay, he's like a 120s buck. He never grunted or anything. We were... Just uh, kind of walking around out here trying to find some some bucks and all we were finding was does for quite some time but we just got our eyes on him not a bad 120s type buck so we'll see if we can't call him in and it looks like we have a moose coming in too yep bull moose So we got a bull moose coming in a buck. I'm not sure what's up with this buck, but the bull moose is definitely coming in. And he looks to be a solid 140s bull. 130s maybe. Alright, so he's going to take out this buck here pretty soon. Nice shot. He's hit. Now let's see if we can't call this moose back in here. Yeah. Alright, now we're going to go and see what kind of blood we got on that first buck that he hit. And we'll go track him and see if we can't run into that bull moose again. Alright, so we got some lung blood here. Nice shot. And hopefully he's dead before we get to our next spot. Oh, there's the bull. There is the bull. Right there. So hopefully you can see him right there and you can just take him out with the gun. And it looks like he can. About 150 yards away, or 150 meters away. Oh, he was stopped perfect too. Oh, there we go. He stopped. Take him. And I think he missed.
All right, here he is dead here. So let's pick up his buck. Another small buck. Boy, are we finding the small bucks. Can't find anything big yet. But don't worry, we will. There's a doe right there. And that doe looks... There, 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 there's your buck. There's our 120s buck right there. Oh, he sees him, he sees him. Uh, he's, can he take him? I don't know if he can take him or not. No. He's a little too far away. Alright, we'll wait till he stops. That way he doesn't get excited and has to take a walking shot. We'll give him a nice shot here. Hopefully he stops right there. Come on, stop. He should stop. There we go. Definitely hit pretty good. Nice shot. Alright, here's some blood. We got some body blood here, it looks like. But hopefully it was a good hit. Oh yeah, he's definitely going to go down. We got 37% on the second track. The buck should be down just up here. Yeah, he's down right here. And this is our biggest one so far. So definitely pick him up. Alright, so now we're going to be circling around this kind of pond area here. And we'll be watching for that bull moose. Or maybe even another buck. Alright guys, so we just found a bull moose. It looks to be pretty much the same size as the one... Oh, two bulls. Two bull moose. So I think what we're going to do... Try and call him over a little bit. And I might get out my 308. And I'll take the small one and he can shoot the bigger one. And let's see if we can get a couple of bulls here. Alright, so hopefully he shoots. And then I can shoot this one here. Mine's hit a couple of times. Alright, mine's down. I'm not sure if he hit his good enough to go down or not. There's a cow running there. I'm not sure if he's shooting at her. I think he is shooting at her. So I helped him out. And she went down as well. Not bad. I think we got all three moose. And he scores 121.9. Nice bull. Alright. Yeah, we hit him three times. Body, intestine, body. Yep, good hit. Alright, well, let's check this island and hopefully we can find a decent sized buck. Look at that. Look at that. I not only set it, and we just got a buck run. Perfect. Yeah, this one. I'm going to have him go on this rock here. And I'll kind of be over here hoping that he comes this direction. Actually, there's a rock right here. Perfect. All right, so here he just grunted again. He's definitely coming in. He is coming in pretty hard. There he is there. And he looks like a 120s buck. 120 to 145 I have on him for an estimate. All right, so he should give him a pretty good shot here pretty soon. Should stop right about there. And it's about a 22 meter shot. Perfect shot. Nice buck, nice shot. He scores 128, so he's almost like a 130 buck. Definitely not a bad buck, for sure. There we go, guys. We just got another buck call. Right by my dot, he just grunted. Alright, so let's go prone here. And we should be able to sneak forward a little bit. Oh yeah, good thing we went prone because this bear is looking right at us right now. Could actually make a shot on that thing. 
and we probably will take him but I just want to make sure that this buck isn't too big I don't see the buck though bull oh that's a big bull too yeah he's a 150s 160s bull for sure all right, so hopefully he takes out this bear. Nice shot. Moose is hit. Moose is down. Nice shooting. All right, here's the bear. Not a bad one. Definitely not a bad one. And he looks like a cinnamon color. Alright, let's go over here and collect the moose. He looks to be like a 150s, 160s bull. So, definitely a pretty solid bull moose. Oh, apparently that was his personal best bear too. So congratulations on that. But this is a pretty good bull here. He looks 150s, 160s. Let's see what he scores. Scores 149.22. So nice moose. Almost 150 score. And I think that's going to be the end of this video. So congratulations Rebel. And you did a pretty good job on this hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.